morning. Welcome to worship at Harborview Presbyterian Church. As always, it is an incredible blessing to have you and for all of us to be together, especially in the middle of now, what is the Christmas season? So hoping and praying that you had an absolutely amazing and wonderful Christmas um, wherever you were, whatever you were able to do this year is different. But hey, you know what? God calls us to a different life, so something we can celebrate. And that actually is what we get to talk about today in the midst of this Christmas season, but also at this time when we are looking forward to a new year. Um, I know, and we all know, that we have heard time and time again, I can't wait for 2021. Well, there have been a lot of great things in 2020. Um, there have been a lot of new things in 2020, and truthfully, there have been some challenges in 2020 as well. But, um, you know, the thing is, God is always present in our life, and God is always calling us to this great, awesome, wonderful purpose of God. And we're going to talk about that. And that's just what we get to live into whenever it is and wherever it is as we look forward and value where that has been part of our life in the past and as we look forward to what we will look forward to and can value that in our future. So I want you to think about two things as we worship and celebrate God and Christmas and newness today. Two things. One, the term S O. P, S O P. The other is a number, 30,528. Okay, first let's talk about S O P. If you don't know what it means, it means standard operating procedure. Basically, core. What is the core? What is the thing that we are all about doing here and how do we do it? All right. It's a business term, it's a social term, it's a church term too, it's a life term, and it's, it's really cool, SOP, standard operating, standard operating procedure, what we do and how we do it. Two, the number 30,528, okay? First of all, standard operating procedure. This is God's standard operating procedure for all of us. It comes from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 12, Verses 29 through 31. You, if you've ever been in church before, you've probably heard this. So just open your minds, open your hearts, open your ears and hear what God has for us today. Jesus has been asked a question. What's the most important thing? What's the most important rule, most important law, most important SOP? Jesus says this. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Thanks be to God for the word God gives us this day. That is truly an SOP for us all. All right, SOP. Standard Operating Procedure, right? All right, hold on to that, because now we're going to jump back to the number, 30,528. All right, that's ballpark. I just, it may not be exact, but it, it's ballpark, all right? I think it's a little low, but that's okay. 30,528 hours. What can happen in 30,528 hours? A few things. People in the UK will eat 501 billion, 369 million, 863,000, and 14 bags of potato chips. Or if you're in the UK, crisps. Also, in 30,528 30, hours, you can travel from here to the sun, 91 million miles, seven times on a rocket ship. All right, talk to Elon Musk. He might be able to get you a seat. We'll see how it goes. Also, 488,950,000 babies are born in the world in 30,528 hours. And one more thing, 30,528 hours is roughly, approximately the amount of hours that folks in Harborview Presbyterian Church congregation have given to ministry events like this worship service. 
this year. I told you there were some really great, awesome, amazing things that happened in 2020. God says, look, it's all about these things. Giving your time, giving your energy, spending all of the things that God has given you in terms of your resources and your creativity and your life. And we know all that. We've heard all that in church. And that's all great, good stuff. But somewhere it has to get practical and real, not just an amen of shaking your head, yes, amen, good stuff, but a practical, real life because God gives us practical, real life. And we can boil that down to the experience of God and why it's so meaningful and such a great gift to two things, the standard operating procedures and how we live into that. That's what SOPs and 30,528 are all about. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are gonna see exactly how we live into this. How we all as Christians have the opportunity to live into this. Some time ago, actually before COVID, at Harborview, some folks got together and said, you know what, we need an SOP for church, for the life of the church. What is it gonna be? Well, we picked Mark 14, but we also looked at this passage and, passage and a few others. What is our procedure? Not for just being a church or, or doing church, but for doing what God calls us to do, to love God, to love each other, and to love ourselves. How do we really actually do that? Love the Lord your God. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. We thought about this, we thought about this, we thought about this, and we came up with this slogan. Some people will call it a pitch, some people will call it a slogan, some people will call it branding. In churches, we call it a vision. Simple. We just boiled it all down to this phrase. Sharing God's love with all. And then COVID hit. We had these great plans. We had these great thoughts. We are going to share God's love with all. Love the Lord your God. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. We had all these ideas. We're going to do picnic at the pastor's house, picnic in the park. We had a lot of picnic things going on. It's Charleston. It's beautiful weather. All this great stuff. And then COVID hit. But before it did, Truly, a vision in this vision was given to some folks. And I am going to show you, I have a great opportunity to show you how God is so amazing and how that vision came to fruition, even in the midst of COVID, to create an opportunity for us to do more of this, sharing God's love with all than we ever thought we'd have the opportunity to. You want to see it? All right, come on. We're going to check it out right now. Let's go. So welcome to the amazing AV area at Harborview Presbyterian Church. You never get to see this, all right? Um, but I get to see it every week. And there are these amazing folks who sit here every week who dedicate a large portion of that 30,528 hours to making sure that you get to worship that we all get to worship. And I gotta tell you this story, it's really great. So in this whole idea of this vision of sharing God's love with all, reaching out to the world as God calls us to, some of our members got together in particular and said, you know, we really need to be able to reach out to the world, not just geographically, but also in media. And look, here's all the media. Now I, I'm not qualified or intelligent enough to operate this equipment. However, there's so many amazing folks out there, as there are in all the churches and all the many places who do this, that have the amazing skills God has given them to do this. And they do it, and they donate their time and their energy, and super thankful for all of that. And that means we get to be together, which is just the best thing in the world because that's what God says we're supposed to do, a way to love each other. 
Now, these folks come and they do all of these things. And when we first started doing this, if you remember the first sermon during COVID was on a boat and it was out in the middle and there were dolphins. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And we thought to ourselves, you know, we're going to have 25 people watch this, maybe 50. We had over 1,600 people watch. It was amazing to us. And suddenly it hit us. It's really important, not just to do church, but to share God's love with all. People want to hear the message. God loves you. God loves all of us. And we in that love have the chance to love each other. And we need to make use of every possibility God gives us. And we said, hey, listen, we need money. We need people. And then we found out that years and years ago in this church, people had planned for something. They had paid off the mortgage in this church early and they had started putting money away and given today us the opportunity to make use of that money to do this sharing God's love with all. And so some folks contributed and we had some money in reserve and all of a sudden we came and spent money and, and got this equipment and went online and so many of our people spent just countless hours figuring out how to do this and how to reach out because you matter. We mattered to each other and the world wanted to hear this. We said, yes, this is amazing. And we went from having this, this one person holding a phone with the wind and the sun and the traffic and the cars and the dolphins and all, to moving into the sanctuary and having the beauty of the organ and the keyboard and the choir and the building and all of these things. And you know, each week we still range between 500 to a thousand, but it doesn't matter if it's even just one person watching because it means we get to love and these folks get to use their skills to love. And we spent 2020 with this, as someone said the other day, silver lining of being able to say all the things the church cannot do. Look what we can. Look how we can love because nothing stops God from loving us. And nothing is going to stop us from loving God and loving each other. Now I've got another thing to show you. Come on, step two. You ready? Let's go check it out. And so here we are at another position that I'm completely and totally not qualified to fill, but blessed to be a part of the team that is able to do these great things. Um, music. Unbelievable. I mean, instruments people with amazing voices, directors, leaders, creativity, artistry, spirituality. Wow, we have pianos and organs and, you know, occasionally percussion and oh, vocalists and guitar players and bass players and flautists and tambourinists and on and on and on and on. And, you know, we always get it exactly right every single week. Or sometimes we don't. But you know what? Everybody falls back on that. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, which is absolutely right because the joy in that noise is the celebration of the love of God. That SOP, that standard operating procedure for life that we get to come together each week and celebrate with you. 2020 has been so different because no, we don't have the full choir. No, we weren't able to bring all the praise band together the whole time. Sometimes we were hampered and uh, limited. Sometimes it was just Gary, uh, our, Gary Hill, our doctor of music, playing the guitar. And it was amazing and awesome. And, you know, we were going to open the guitar case and let people come by and put money in. But we thought, well, maybe not. That's probably not getting COVID. But the point is, whether it was on a soccer field or, or in a boat or in the city street, it was people. SOP, standard operating procedure, finding a way to love God and to love each other and to share that with every single person we could. And back in here with these amazing instruments this is, you know, if you go to a church somewhere else, you know, maybe your music program is the best in the world. 
But the point of all of that is even in 2020, even in our past, we're sharing the love of God by sharing our talents, our abilities, no matter what goes on around us. This is our core. This is where we're going to spend 30, 40, 50,000 hours. You know, it's only a few of us that get paid to do that, and I'm blessed to do that, but so many people pouring their heart out. And when things get difficult, they pour it out even more because our procedure is to love. No matter what happens, whatever instrument we can use to do it, that's what we do. That's our operating procedure because the point is sharing God's love with all. And you know, it's not just here, and it's not just the Navy, and it's not just the worship, and that's where we get to share here. But there are so many other things. We have vacation Bible school. I mean, yeah, a different way this year, but you know what? We did it, and it was amazing and awesome. We joined with a variety of other churches on James Island here in Charleston, where we did this drive. We drove the whole island, the whole island. And it was a predominantly African-American church and predominantly white churches, and all of us coming together to say, you know what, our predominance isn't color. Our predominance is God. And we all drove together, and we rode together, and we hung out, and we honked our horns, and we talked about how amazing God is, and people loved it as we drove around this island proclaiming the good news of the gospel. And it's the amazing videos we have for kids and Sunday mornings for our lessons and classes and the videos at home and the Christmas services and the Walk to Bethlehem program that we put out that, no, we didn't get to do it in church, but, you know, we're finding ways to do it anyway. And we just had this amazing caroling session, which was great. Because it's all about one thing, standard operating procedure, sharing God's love with all. That's what we're about. I don't care if you have the word Presbyterian or Baptist or Methodist or non denom You have the word person attached to your name. And God says the greatest way to, and he answered the question, the greatest way to be that full person is to do what Jesus tells us, what this group has heard God call us to do. Share God's love with all, yourself, each other, God, the church, the world. That's our point. That's what we're called to do. That's our standard operating procedure. Sharing God's love with all, it's our vision for this church, but it's our vision for life. All of us. We've done it in 2020. We've spent time, 30,528, I think it's low, but you know, I'm just gonna go with that. 30,528 hours. People giving their heart because they wanna do this. Because we want to live the most beautiful, full, amazing, God-filled life possible. And I am someone who absolutely 100% always wants to follow that rule that um, I think it was Rick Warren said, add a zero. So 300,528 hours in 2021? What do you think? I think we can do it. It's right around the corner. 2021 is. There have been lots of challenges this year, but there has been the most amazing response to those challenges. The response that comes from God and God alone. The response that has been the call to God's people. To love God. To love our neighbor. To know that God loves us and so love ourselves because we are valuable. God cares for us. And God says, hey, listen, you're the person I put there to do this thing with all these other people. 
So go out and do it. Share God's love with all. 2021, I'm sure there'll be a lot of difference in it. But you know what? There's one thing that's not going to change. And that's our opportunity to do this. So, brothers and sisters, whether you're a geographic part of this congregation or you're someone who we get to celebrate together with non-geographically as a part of this congregation, we're all children of God. People who sit at the foot of the throne of God and hear Christ answer this question, the most important one, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Love your neighbor and love yourself. So what does 2021 hold for us? If you really want to answer that question, I can tell you. It holds for us the opportunity to do what we did this year in even more incredible and amazing ways. Simply, share God's love with all. Blessings and peace. Know that our future is amazingly, awesomely, wonderfully bright. And we have this opportunity to do this. And go and have a most amazing and happy new year. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace. Blessings and peace, brothers and sisters, as we look forward to 2021 and a new year and all the new amazing things it's going to bring. And we can do that going into that year boldly, passionately excited, knowing that God has so many amazing things for us. So many amazing opportunities for us to practice this most wonderful gift, an opportunity of life. Love God. Love neighbor. Love self. All the things that come along. And in so doing, know that we are the body of Christ together, wherever we are, whatever we're doing. And the opportunities will abound and be so amazing to experience how incredible this God and this life is. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and may you know peace, hope, love, joy, and Christ now, forever, and always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Happy New Year. Amen. Thank you.